troubling someone with paranormal activity is miracle from God. Look, atheists say we do not see God. That's why we don't believe in him. All right? You think you'll not be troubled and tried after what you say? Well, God will trouble you with creatures whom you cannot see but you must believe in about their existence. You don't see them, but you can see a handle moving. You can see a door opening. You can see a cup moving. You can see a light turning off and on. You can see TV is turning off. You can hear some steps. You can open the attic and see something or hear some noises. You're troubled with. You don't see, but you must believe in. So, if you taste this cup of atheism, God will let you taste the bitterness of what you say. You don't believe in him because you don't see him. Well, bef before coronavirus, was it there? The problem is with your sight. It's limited, my dear. It's limited. There are trillions of creatures upon which you do not see but they're around you. I mean, if God enabled you to see all the viruses around you, you're going to be running away. You won't be believing what you see. But, you know, your problem is, you say, I don't see, that's why I don't believe. Mm. Okay. I cast your watch on your hand. Do you believe that somebody did it? Yes. Did you see them? No. But I may... I, I use my mind. So my mind tells me if I make a search, I'll find out where it had been made. Oh, that's good. So now you're making your mind. You're using your mind, not only your sight. Tell me about that. Why didn't you tell me that from the beginning? Tell me that now you're functioning, you watermelon, in which you did not function in terms of God Almighty. I mean, what is greater? You cast your watch or the universe that you can see, light years, trillions of stars and planets, each of which runs rapidly, but none of them collided against one another except by God's will. The animal deals with what it sees because it doesn't function the mind. So don't be like the animal. When we talk about God Almighty, please don't use only your sight. Don't say, I did not see him. That's why I don't believe in him. Okay? Because he'll be troubling you with ghosts that they will be disturbing you. And many, and many of you committed suicide because they could not bear the disturbing of the ghosts at night. As for me, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. God is the greatest. I've been living for many, many years alone. Believe me, I don't need the light. At every moment, if I want to open the door, I say, in the name of Allah, Bismillah. So the devils have no access to move it. They have no access to move it. When I turn on the light, I say, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. You think that mentioning the name of Allah is only about what is halal, what is, you know, slaughtering the animals. Okay, don't, don't forget to say Bismillah when you slaughter the animals. Don't forget. It's not only for slaying animals, but it is for slaying the devils. I walk at night. The night to me is just like the day. Allahu Akbar. The night is just like the day. There is no difference unless, <laughs> unless if I cannot see Okay, well, well, economically is also good. Hmm. I turn this on, a little bit light, you know, needed. Well, sometimes there's no need for me, even when I work at night. Hmm. I use this, I put it over the keyboard, and I keep working. And uh, everything is dark, except this light and my PC, which, you know why I don't fear also? Because I'm working for the sake of God Almighty. So... You don't know the, the weak point of the devils. Everything has weakness. Mankind has weakness. 
okay? We know their weapons, but also we know their weakness. There must be some weakness of them that you can take advantage of in order to dismiss them and to let them fear you. Fear Allah. He is the owner of the devils. Say Bismillah. Say Allahu Akbar. The devil has weakness that the Prophet told us about. He said, when you close the door, say Bismillah. Mention the name of Allah on the door when you close. For the devil doesn't have access to a door that has been closed while mentioning the name of Allah on it. This is for you also. Fix yourselves. Don't say, oh, let's get out of this house. I can't live in this house anymore. Really? What if you go to another house and you have the same problem? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to be selling house, buying house. Selling house, buying another house. Or renting house. You can't. See, when you rent a house, um, you have to make a six-month contract. So what are you going to do? Fix yourself. The problem is not the house. The problem is in you. Your problem is not in the house. It is in you. When you fix yourself, don't worry. Your house will be fixed. Your house is the reflection of your heart. If the devil is living in your heart, the devil will live in your house. So the problem is in your heart. In your response to the devil, you're responsive to him. By doing the evil, he orders you in order to overcome you through your sins. When he whispers on you to fornicate, to deny God, to follow your desire, to ignore his do's and don'ts. So you think you'll not be disturbed after that? There is a divine price to be paid for that, whether you like it or not. To sin, that's in your hand. But the consequence of the sin is not in your hand. It's in the hand of God Almighty. With a creature that dedicated himself dedicated his offspring to ruin you and ruin your offspring. Generations after generations, that's his task until he knows where he's going to go in hell eternally. So he wants to take with him as much as he can. The Prophet told us about many things that uh, the angels are in your houses. Okay, uh, Say Bismillah before you enter your house so the devil won't be having access. Um, before you eat, say Bismillah. Before you drink, say Bismillah. If you open a door, say Bismillah. If you close, if you switch the light on or off, say Bismillah. Ah, before all of that, say I bear witness that there is no God ever worthy of worship except Allah. Be brave. That gives you brave bravery. That gives you bravery. When you are truly knowing that you are the servant, sincere servant of Allah, then Allah the Almighty will expel them, will back them off for you. There are angels that lift the throne, and while they're lifting the throne, they ask forgiveness to those believers on earth. So be one of them. That's why you're chicken. You can't solve this problem. Hmm. You say Islam is terrorism, Islam is terrorism. But why the Muslims have peace at night? Why many Christians and atheists, when they converted to Islam, they say, we do not feel the fear we had before. So they accuse Islam of, of terrorism. But those who sample Islam, they convert to Islam, they feel the peace. They don't feel the terror. It's up to you. So, please... When you think about this mouse, oh, it it's must be done by someone. It must be. But if someone said to you, no, you say you're crazy. You should use your mind. Wait a minute. Logitech. I can, I can type. I can Google it. Oh, yes. There's a manufacturer for Logitech. So, so use your mind. So let your mind function with your eyes. In terms of God Almighty. You say, I don't see, I don't believe. Well, use your mind about the mountains, about the galaxies, about the universe. Who taught the cat? Who taught the cat to bury its poo 
and to keep smelling around to find out is there any traces of smell of the poo or not. This is a system. Who is the systemizer of that system? Look. <laughs> a plumbing company cannot run successfully without having an administrator, a manager. Small company. What about the universe? What about setting the time and the, and the place for each star? What about this uh, gravity that keeps different planets run without a lifter? Who is lifting the, the earth? Who is lifting the sun? Who is supporting fuel for the sun? As you can see it, everything is in order. When we talk about order, that means we're talking about someone who set that order. What, what you guys, you atheists, give us? Uh, they give us the good news. About what? There is no judgment at the day of judgment. Oh, so the thief is better than uh, the one who had been stolen. Why? Because, you know, the cops, never, uh, not necessarily every time they can catch the thief. Sometimes the thief is more smart than the, than the cops. Um, so as a result, he had taken everything and gone with it. Then the, he died. Then he died. So, um, so shall we give good news to the thieves? If you're smart, you did it. Why? There's no day of judgment. If somebody raped, we say to the raped woman, hmm, that's bad for you, but there's, there is no one that will return your right to you. This is good news of the atheists. Okay, what else they have? Uh, everything is chaotic. We were, we have been born chaotically. Everything is going uh, uh, chaotically. Okay, who created us? The nature. But the nature is created itself. It's itself being created. So who created the, 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 the nature? Um, the nature is the creator and the nature has been created. It's just like Christianity. <laughs> Because they say, the Christians, the, the, the begetter and the begotten are one. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and the three are one. Jesus is begotten. The Father is the begetter. The begetter and the begotten are one. And you're saying the same thing. The nature is the creator. And the, 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 the creator is created. So who created, who created the nature? The nature. Uh -uh, they may say, who created your God? Well, wait. God is the creator. We don't contradict just like the way you do when you say the nature is creator, but the nature is created. No, we say God is the creator. He created everything from nothing. You can't say, you can't say who created him. Because if he is one and he had been created, that means there's another creator. It can't be. You're contradicting yourself and you fall in a non-answering question. You know, this is... This is false question. When you say who created the creator, he is the creator. So how can he be created? See, you have nothing but to admit. Oh, otherwise, you will be troubled by what Allah said in the Quran. Look what Allah said in the Quran. I like that verse. I love it. A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajim and we will make them taste the lesser torment prior to the greater torment so that they may return. So, oh, atheist people, also the sinners who don't bother about God, they believe in Him, but they disobey Him. So these kinds of disturbing creatures are the minor torment minor torment. It is better for you when you fear those things, you return to the Creator. You know, if a, if a dog barked against you and you cannot run away from him, you have one thing to do. Where's the owner of the dog? Ah, oh, that's the owner. Can you please tell the dog to, to stay away? God is the Creator of those creatures. You have no way. You can't go to a pharmacy, chemist, to tell them, well, I suffer a paranormal activity 
Do you have any pill against this? You can't go to the police. I've seen the police myself in France. You know, they called the police because of this normal activity. And when the police came, the ghosts started to throw the pans and the dishes and everything over them in the kitchen. And they had to run away. They have guns, but they could not make anything. They ran away again. <laughs> so neither the people nor the police could not help one another. They couldn't. So what is the solution? <laughs> Look, Mr. Atheist. You have to acknowledge your weakness. I've been asking many atheists, did you pass by, doesn't happen to you, any kind of, you know, risk, disease, something dangerous that occurred to you? He said, yes. Did you say, oh my, oh God, help me? He said, he said, I did. Many. I'm not talking about one, two, three. Many, a lot. When I ask them this question, they say, yes, we did. So that means you return to your nature. And look, you became arrogant. Sorry, I'm not going to say atheist. You're arrogant because you're not acknowledging the powerful who created you. You do not, you, you do, you do not in, acknowledge him until you fall in trouble. <laughs> you are uh, advantageous. Okay? When you're in trouble, you turn to him. When you're not in trouble, where is he? Where is God? When you're in trouble, my God! <laughs> See? This is mankind. Return to God. But not through Christianity. Who say to you the same like what you say about the nature. Okay, the begetter and the begotter are one. No. Come to Islam. There is no God that ever deserves to be worshipped except Allah. I love this. Raising the hands to him alone. Not to Jesus, who used to be doing the same to him. Ask a Christian. Ask those pastors, those priests. Was Jesus raising the hands and praying to God? They say yes. So how can God be raising the hands in supplication to God? And by the way, Christianity is responsible for atheism. Because when atheists saw the paganism in Christianity, they said, oh, forget. But the problem with the atheists... When they see wrong religion, they retaliate against God. Mm. Since there are mistakes in the church, there's no God. Who told you? Why don't you search for the true religion? Why don't you look for the true religion? And then you'll be hitting the point. But your point is pointless. When you deny God because of the mistakes of the people, you're not excused at the day of judgment. You can't say to God, I denied you because of their mistakes. God revealed revelation, a book of revelation, and it was descended on earth. And all people will be judged by the book that God revealed on earth. So read it. Atheism is a new phenomenon that people did not experience before. And people are more responsible today because of the discoveries they found. Um, much ever more than what people discovered before. That makes them more responsible. Instead of responding to God, complying, submitting themselves to Him because of their discoveries, they are becoming more atheist and more denying. Isn't this strange? Just have a look at this comparison between the planets and the galaxies. It's horrible. Our Earth is nothing but a small rounded object, very small, compared to the sun and the other planets. Isn't this amazing? And we keep denying the greatness. Look, look, look at the sun. Look at the sun. Compare the earth to the sun. The earth is nothing. Isn't this great? Shouldn't we be, be submissive, appreciative, obedient to him? Understanding that this is a life of test, as Allah mentioned in the Quran many times. Read the Quran. It's the most beautiful thing in this life. I swear by God. Thank you. Take care.